Hello, respectful audience. I'm Yusuf Saadi, a professor in computer science at Sultan Mouleslimane University of Morocco, and I'm pleased to present my work in the 20th International Conference on Intelligent Systems Design and Application, which will be held on December 2020. My work is a comparative study which is entitled Energy-Based Comparison for Workflow Task Clustering Techniques. Through this work, we try to report the contribution of clustering techniques on energy consumption by cloud environments. The outline of my presentation will be as follows. I will start by introducing my work, then I will present the scope and background of this study. After that, I will relate some related works and then introduce the methodology used to simulate and evaluate this study. Finally, I will conclude this paper by giving some insights on future work. First of all, nowadays, Cloud computing environment consumes a great many of electrical energy resources due to the huge amount of computation and data processing capabilities. This involves high carbon dioxide emissions, which may impact drastically the environment. In addition, the increase in energy consumption leads to system instability because of over-provisioned resources that aim to keep continuous availability and reliability of services to end users. We expect, in future, that the cost of power consumption may exceed the cost of hardware in data centers, which may influence the return on investment for the service providers or the cloud service providers. So then, the energy performance trade-off is still an open issue in cloud computing. We often target to minimize the energy consumption while meeting the quality of service. Secondly, the cloud computing processes a variety of application with different requirements such as scientific workflows. These applications have complex structure and are high computation demanding. They may contain thousands of tasks to be executed by the cloud infrastructure. We note also that task runtime is the main relevant measure to compute the energy consumption by the workflow execution. Thirdly, in cloud computing, tasks are scheduled on appropriate resources using some well-known scheduling technique. Scheduling may be preceded by some clustering operation. This last is time-consuming and high data processing. That's why In this work, we try to report the contribution of clustering techniques in energy consumption when considering a specific scheduling technique. In this study, we carry simulation on workflow sim simulator to observe and analyze the behavior of the couple cluster clustering scheduling technique on energy consumption. Now, I will give a summary of the basic elements involved in the simulation and the evaluation of our study. I will start by presenting the, the scientific workflows, then the scheduling policies, and task clustering techniques. Later, I will explain the energy model adopted in this work. Scientific workflows are often modeled using directed 
acyclic graphs, which described a hierarchical structure connecting between tasks according to parent-child relationship. Many types of scientific workflows were defined. Each one is its own structure. We can quote as example, Mantage, Cybershake, Sift, LIGO, and so on. Scientific workflows generate complex workloads and are high computation demanding. In this present study, we'll use or we'll deal only with the Mantage workflow. In what concern scheduling policies, these techniques or these techniques in principle aim to allocate resources to a task in order to minimize the overall workflow completion time. The main purpose is to disseminate or distribute load among hosts according to specific criteria. The main scheduling policy is defined in literature and that are supported in workflow theme are data aware scheduling, round robin, first come first serve, min min, max min, minimum completion time. We will analyze the energy consumption produced by these schemes according to chosen or specific task clustering. Task clustering aim to merge small sized sized tasks into large sized tasks in order to reduce the queuing time and then to minimize the make spine of the workflow. The make spine expresses uh, the overall time to release all workflow tasks. Many task clustering schemes were proposed, such as level, vertical, blocks, band space clustering and so on. In this work, we will limit to horizontal and vertical task clustering. In horizontal clustering, the interdependent task of the same level of the workflow can be combined together to form a cluster. However, in vertical based clustering, the task of the same pipeline can be merged into a cluster. In this work, we, adopt, we adopted the model provided by Bill Glazov, Fan, and QCH. Here, the power consumption by your host is modeled as a linear function of CPU utilization. Actually, we found that an, an IDA server consumes about 70% of fully utilized server. Equation 1 depicts the power consumption by a host with actual utilization of U. Pmax expresses the maximum power of host in the running state at 100% CPU utilization. Equation 2 presents the total energy consumption of physical machine. It is expressed as a summation of the power consumption over time. To compute the energy consumption due to specific scheduling algorithm, we, we use then the equation 3, which makes use of the make spine as duration. Many works were proposed in the past to address the problem of energy consumption by cloud environment. Some specific works have proposed new efficient scheduling techniques to minimize the energy consumption. However, surveyed scheduling algorithm 
didn't consider the impact of classroom technique on energy consumption. That's why in the simulation study, we target to analyze the behavior of existing scheduling precise in terms of energy consumption when uh, or with the consideration of uh, the selected task classroom technique. We will try to answer the question of what combination of workflow scheduling and clustering schemes is most suitable for saving energy. So, to answer this question, we have adopted the following methodology. carry out the simulation we used in this first study the maintained scientific workflow we varied the number of its related tasks from 15 50 to 1000 tasks in order to represent light middle and heavy loads we applied the following scheduling for size for each workflow size. Data aware scheduling, round robin, first come first serve, max mean, mean mean, and minimum completion time. And for each scheduling for size, we use two configurations based on either level or vertical task clustering technique. The simulations aim to compare the above combined configurations in terms of energy consumption. Also, in the simulation study, we have used the common configuration for hosts and virtual machines in the data center. The configurations are illustrated against in table 1 and table 2. Also, three simulations scenarios were defined. In the first use case, we simulated light loads using Metage with 50 tasks with data centers that data center that contain uh, five hosts and five virtual machines. In the second case, we use Montage with 100 tasks, 10 virtual machines, and 10 hosts are defined to represent the data center. In the third scenario, heavy load is considered using Montage with, with 1000 tasks. In this configuration, also, we considered a data center, a data center with 10 virtual machines and 10 hosts. In all simulations, we try to observe the contribution of classroom technique on energy consumption. We considered in this first work only vertical and level based task clustering. For each simulation scenario, we repeat the simulations 10 times and average values are taken as a result. In a resistive clustering, we specify the cluster size equal to 2 which meaning each job has two tasks. For both vertical and horizontal clustering, the clustering delay specified to each level is one second. So the obtained result, as illustrated in the three figures against, show that horizontal clustering increases significantly the energy consumption by data center compared to vertical task clustering scheme. When load is light, max mean and dust 
using vertical clustering may save important amount of energy. As well, when the workflow size increases, max mean combined with vertical task clustering reduce reduced significantly the energy consumption as compared to other scheduling precise. Actually, vertical task clustering optimizes resource utilization compared to a horizontal scheme which involves more virtual machine in executing task in executing task and then more energy consuming. Maximin Polisai improves the make spine by executing large tasks first. And combination between max, max mean and vertical clustering demonstrates demonstrates the reduced energy consumption. On the other side, mean mean combined with horizontal clustering depicts the worst case in energy consumption. Above all, when the load become heavy, because of resource uses, usage, or utilization maximization, and increased mix spine in comparison with other scheme or other schemes. Around the robin, using virtual task clustering leads to maximizing power consumption due to increased mix spine. Thus. Vertical task clustering is the most suitable clustering technique when you are targeting the energy efficiency, efficiency, and and combining both vertical clustering with max mean may improve the energy saving. So, as a final result, we can conclude that. Uh, the combination of vertical task clustering with max mean scheduling policy participates or contributes in reducing the energy consumption compared to other scheduling policies, which use a horizontal technique. In future work, we will extend our simulation study to cover more clustering schemes or task clustering schemes and also to cover more types of scientific workflows. The main goal of this study or this future study is to, to obtain an insight on optimizing resources or resource usage in order to minimize the energy consumption by cloud computing. Finally, I would like to thank all the staff of ISDA 2020 for evaluating and accepting my work. Also, I would like to thank the audience interested in my modest work and I'm available for any kind of question according to this study.